Goblin disease. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's coming it. for you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Do it. I'm, I'm so glad we got that on, on recording. <laughs> um, but I do know, like, I, I do know of different like things that happened in his life, like the symbiote. Ooh. Now that's yeah. a, now that's one of my favorite storylines of Spider-Man because it makes my favorite Spidey villain ever. Yeah. Well, that's you. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like Venom, because I kind of do. Hey, it makes your one of your favorites, too. True. Without Ben, there would not be Carnage. Yes. Who I only like because... The 90s series? Well, I don't even know why I like him. I just... I do. The 90s series? Well, yeah, but... I just don't know... I can't say why I like Ve- or Carnage. I just... I do. I, yeah. I think he's... Maybe it's his design, and how, like... Hard it is to draw. Yeah. How intricate it is. How yeah. dedicated the artists had to be. Yeah, and the thing he he shows up in like multiple panels in the comics, and like to have to draw that over and over again. I don't have that kind of dedication. Or when he had his own series of comics. Yeah, it's crazy. And by the way, he still has his own series of comics going on right now, and they look amazing. Yep, I haven't read any because I don't have the money right now. I need and to also, get, I've been buying a bunch of Squirrel Girl comics. I need to get my hands on some of those. But uh, I, I do know of, like, the different adventures that Peter Parker has had in his Same. time as Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Same. I mean, don't even get me started on all the different crossovers he's had with oh, yes. other characters. Deadpool, yes. for one. I have a comic book that's literally just a Spider-Man Deadpool buddy comic. It's amazing. Yeah, there's, like, ever since that one was made, there was, like, a lot more after. I don't know which one yeah. you have, but... It's a recent issue, but whatever. Oh, okay. Um... Also, I think Punisher first appeared in a Spider-Man comic. Did he? I think so, yeah. Huh. Cool. Kind of like that storyline in uh, the 90s show where uh, Peter Parker, or not, no, Spider-Man is blamed for Peter Parker, or pfft, Spider-Man is blamed for Mary Jane's disappearance, so the Punisher goes after him. Yeah, the Punisher thinks he's the new Green Goblin. Yep. That was weird. Weird. I like how Peter's like, well, what do you know? That must be me up there. <laughs> well, what do you know? That must be... See, also, in case you fa- you guys didn't know, the reason why Spider-Man is so good at quips is because of Uncle Ben. Yes. I didn't Uncle Ben that. loved quips, and he loved pulling little pranks on Peter. Is it weird? Did you ever notice that quip rhymes with thwip? Huh. It does. Interesting coincidence. Uh, and I know what you're thinking. This is weird to do a, a, vi- a geek squawk on just one dude. Well, that is where you're wrong. Where there is not just one Spider-Man, there are many. My personal favorite is Miles Morales. Okay, so this is the part where Noah's going to help me with Miles Morales because I know jack shit. Okay, so I know very little because I don't have a lot of Miles Morales comics, but here's what I do know. Mm-hmm. One, he's half black, half Hispanic, okay. which is cool. Two, he got bit by a spider stolen by his uncle, the Prowler, a.k.a. Aaron Davis. Mm-hmm. And his powers differ are similar to Peter Parker's from Earth 616, but he there are a few differences. For mm-hmm. one, he can actually turn invisible or Ooh. camouflage. I'm not sure if that's invisibility, but it's camouflage. Like cloaking? And, yeah. And he has this cool thing called the Venom Blast where he can, like... I don't even know exactly what it does because I don't think it was represented well in the TV show, but it's like he touches you and you're like stunned for a few seconds and it hurts. Cool. Also, his comic, his costume is pretty freaking cool. Yeah, it does look awesome. So, Peter Parker gets killed by the Green Goblin. R.I.P. Peter Parker. Mm hmm. Of 1610. So, Miles is like, you know what? I'm going to take up this mantle. And he get, I think, as far as I know, he gets MJ's, Aunt May's, and Gwen Stacy's blessing. Oh, yeah, in 1610, Gwen Stacy is alive. Hmm. Anyway, so he becomes the new Spider-Man. And that's it. Well, and also his mom got killed by Venom. Ugh. Wait, Venom symbiote or Eddie Brock? I think, I don't know. Per se, I just I just heard this. Also, oh. his dad's an undercover shield agent. 
So awkward. Huh. Yeah, and awkward. His friend, and his best friend is a fat Asian. Wonder it's why. Just... His name's Gank, but you know the reason I bring that up is because Ned. You, know, you got Ned from Homecoming. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Also, the um, whole dad being a shield agent thing kind of reminds me of George Stacy. <laughs> Ghost Leary. Awkward. Okay, Ghost Leary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, folks, this is a prime example of how Noah can say something random and it'll tickle me silly. Because <laughs> we're because we're chicken bros. Chicken bros. And also we're re- also we're registered spider holics. Yep, <laughs> registered. I'm sure. Um, Pete, I'm sure Stanley will stamp our spider holic cards. Yeah, enough said. Um, enough said, true believers. See, I can't do Stanley. He's too epic. That was pretty good. Like he got his accent down. Any, anyway, so that's what Miles Morales. Oh, also, he dated a girl who was affiliated with Hydra. Oh, no. And when, and when he finds that out, not only does he break up with her, but Dagger, who, by the way, Miles is friends with, yeah. totally knocks the bitch out. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Interesting. Also, as far... So, in the universe of Miles Morales, the 1610 universe, you got... You know, you got they're not the Avengers. They're called the Ultimates in this universe. Mm-hmm. But it's all the same guys, you know, Iron Man, Cap, all those, all those dudes. Hmm. Also, I mean, in one comic that I have, Sam Wilson is um, Captain America. Yeah, that happens after Cap. <laughs> um, one of my favorite alternate Spider Men is Miguel O'Hara, Spider Man of twenty ninety nine. Who I only know very little about because I've only ever seen like one video game playthrough with him, and I never saw the entire thing. So here's what I know about Miguel O'Hara: he's half Mexican, half Irish, as he's, you can probably tell by his name. He's got red hair. Well, or, at least, or at least he did in the game. Okay. Whatever. Oh, uh, and he has similar powers to Spider-Man, but he also has like talons and fangs, or claws. I don't know what you call them: talons, claws, whatever. His fingernails can get sharp, okay? Yeah, fangs fangs. and teeth, buddy. He has fangs. Uh, He doesn't have fangs. I already did. did. Well, okay, it depends on what you mean by fangs. Are you talking about those things on his mask? No, I'm talking like his teeth can sharpen themselves. Well, his teeth doesn't come through his mask. Well, I know, I'm just saying, like, that's one thing he can do from what I've read. Oh, okay, so, like, it doesn't matter if the... Okay, I see what you mean. And, and he also his his webbing is organic. Which, yeah, because his powers are more radiation based. And he he's in the future, twenty ninety nine. Yeah. And that's pretty much all I know because I've never read a Spider Man twenty ninety nine comic. The only, and again, the only thing I know about him. Also, he says the game. word shock as if it was a swear word. Mm-hmm. That seems to be a, a, a theme in fu- in future superhero. Storylines like in Batman Beyond, they say things like "twip" and "shway." <clears throat> anyway, so yeah. that's Miguel O'Hara, from Miguel what I know. O'Hara. But David probably knows more about him than I do. Yeah, and what's cool is in the video game that Noah's talking about, Christopher Daniel Barnes voiced him. It was really cool. And if I remember correctly, there's another Spider-Man. Of, a, of an alternate dimension, but he doesn't go by Spider-Man. He goes by the Scarlet Spider. Is he an alternate dimension? I mean... I've heard that what? it's an alternate dimension, but I don't know for sure. And all I know about him is his name is Ben Riley. He's like a clone of Peter Parker. And... Well, wait. Yeah. There are two Scarlet Spiders that I know. Both of them are clones of Peter Parker, but Ben Riley is the more noticeable one, and I like his costume a little better. Yeah. Then there's the other one, Kane, who I think has the most unoriginal, or not unoriginal, but unimaginative Spider-Man costume, like, ever. And then the Peter Parker clone is Spider-Carnage. Ugh. Yeah, that, thing, that thing is a match made in hell. Oh, hell yeah. Ugh, that's... It's goosey. Okay, as much as I like Carnage, that scares me. Yeah, that does not fit. Take it off, Peter. Ew, it's gross. Get away. Ah. I mean... Peter had enough problems with the Ven- Venom symbiote. Yes, yeah, seriously. Carnage symbiote? Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> the teeth look weird, but then again, Carnage's teeth always look like that. Yeah. 